work with Virtual Set Editor, we are going to use one of the 16 angles from our Virtual Studio 159 in Virtual Set Editor format to demonstrate how it works. These sets come as layered PSD files with specific layers defined to route video that look like yellow, green, and red gradients. These gradients tell the TriCaster where exactly to put the video and are in charge of all the cool abilities like sizing and rotating the video and creating reflections. This is how the set looks in Photoshop with those gradients mapping out the video locations and other layers like the desk and the screen frame matting them. We can see what each of these layers look like on its own. There's a layer for each element, desk, talent, screens, some color adjustment layers, a layer with the set, and a final background layer. The screens in this case don't use up all the holes and show through to the background layer, but if you as the user want to populate those with your own content, it's easy to fill them in before heading off to Virtual Set Editor. Once satisfied with your work, save it, making sure to leave it in 16-bit mode. This is what gives VSC enough color precision to correctly place the video on those gradients. Now open Virtual Set Editor. When beginning, an open dialog is presented to you, and one of the options is New Project from Photoshop. Choose this and navigate to your saved file, or the original as the case may be, and open it. When you open the set in Virtual Set Editor, it should look like this. There will be an outline of a person over your whole set. To make it go away, uncheck the blue check mark next to input A1. Next, you're going to want to open the input B panel. Click it to access the screen input parameters and decide what you want for an input there. Next, we're going to set our presets. These are camera positions that you can call up in the switcher during production. Click on the image in the lower left to change the to a different preset. Use the right mouse button and move the mouse to zoom in on the set. These sets have 150% more resolution than HD, so you're able to zoom in quite a ways before breaking that one-to-one -one barrier. When you're done with your settings, you can export to TriCaster or create an installer if your TriCaster is located on another system than your virtual set editor. Fire up the switcher and begin production with your newly created virtual set from Virtual Setworks edited in Virtual Set Editor.